talking time with CSE TV. So what's actually going on at Chelsea Football Club? Let's get into the video. Now guys, people are already starting to say like, Chelsea are in a massive crisis and everything. Now, I don't feel that we are in a crisis. That certainly is nothing to worry about. I mean, we've had a few draws in a row now, three or four, but at the end of the day, it isn't to the extent that we are in a crisis. I mean, we're not losing every single game. Yeah, we're not happy that we've drawn every single game of recent, but we're not losing and we're not in a crisis. But guys, is there some issues underlying in the club? Is, is there issues at the root of the club? I think there is, guys. Now guys, it all really stems back to the issue of summer really. I mean, we let so many of our players go and we didn't actually replace every single one of them. And I mean, it's having a knock-on effect to this point now. I mean, the players are so, so tired and we don't have enough strong backup options to be able to replace them. And it's as if Conte is having to now work with what he's got in a sense. Conte doesn't appear to be getting the signings that he wants. And this was an issue in summer, guys. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, we did make some good signings in the summer. But how many of them were actually Conte signings? I feel there's such a split between the board and Conte. And it is such an issue, guys. Because if you don't have enough strong enough players to go out on that field, how are you expecting to win games? Now guys, I suppose all of these issues are like a circle and a cycle in a way. If one thing happens, signings wise, it has a knock on effect on everything else. So summer, we didn't get enough signings. Comes to this point now, all the players are tired. It means we're drawing games. And it's just a continuous cycle, guys. And I mean, in this transfer window, we need like a new striker. Hasn't happened yet. Will it happen? Well, <laughs> I honestly don't know. We just seem to really be struggling, guys. And this is having a knock on effect on everything. And especially, Games of recent, we've got games coming thick and fast and we don't have enough players to be able to replace them, second squad, etc, etc. Now guys, I just feel there is so many issues at the club at the moment and I feel as though if we got a few more signings in in this transfer window, things could be a lot different. I mean, I don't feel like we're in this massive crisis as people are saying. I do feel as though we are a few steps away from being back on track easily. A few signings and it could change everything again. But as I said, I just feel as though until we get them, God knows what's going to happen. I mean, we can't continue like we are at the moment. Something's going to have to change. And what's going to have to change? We're going to have to get some more players in, guys. It is so, so clear. The players are not themselves, they appear so tired. And I mean, I know they are getting paid so much money a week. But if you're playing as many games as that in a week, you are going to be exhausted. Now guys, it's actually getting to the point where I'm actually like reading on my social media, people saying Conte out, like <laughs> what? Like I can't actually believe that people are saying Conte out. I mean, are you having a joke? Conte is such an amazing manager. Conte in all the way for me, he's incredible. And it actually got to the extent yesterday, guys, when some fans were even booing the Chelsea players off the pitch. Now, yeah, I know we're not brilliant at the moment. Like, that's an absolute fact. But you don't boo your own players off the pitch. Things are just not good at the moment at all, on all behalves. In circumstances like this, and in situations like this, you need to get behind the boys and we storm on. Conte's got to work with what he's got, and the players have just got to try the hardest, and we've just got to go for it. And when, like, fans are actually, like, booing players off and stuff, that is not helping the situation at all. You've got to get behind the boys as much as possible. And, I mean, we're not going to win every game, guys. It, when you get to as many competitions like we're playing in right now, you're not going to win every game and you can't expect it to be winning every game. But when fans are even booing their own team and saying Conte out, that is just like so stupid. I just can't understand. 
So thank you so much for watching guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I know this was quite a controversial video, but I just wanted to get everything off my chest. Um, and yeah, and hopefully going into this new week, we can hopefully just storm on. Fingers crossed being Norwich and Brighton. That would be really good if we could. And guys, let's hope things are on the up and we just keep storming on up the channels. Thanks.